Hey guys, it's Ryan again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marina. Got another quick clip I'm going to show you here. And what you're going to see is several divers exiting deep water, getting back up onto the dive boat itself. And when we was reviewing this, this is from our Curacao video that we made last year. While we're reviewing it, we started to notice something about each individual diver as they come out of the water. And we thought this would make a great video lesson for you on how to make a proper exit from deep water getting back onto the boat. Now, if you remember all the way back from your open water course, your instructor probably, or at least should have taught you several different steps to make a proper and safe exit. First and foremost, if you're not gonna be the diver that's directly on the ladder, you need to be about 10 feet away from that ladder. Reason being is, is if a diver is climbing and happens to fall, if you stretch the average person out, including the fin, the length of their fins, they can reach up to about 10 feet on the average diver. So if you're directly below them and they fall in, they're going to land all on top of you. So you want to make sure that you're away from the boat. If you're in a heavy sea or heavy current, there's usually going to be a tagline that you can hold on and that will help you pull yourself into the boat. Step number two, as you approach the ladder, go ahead and get your fins off and secure them in some way, shape, or form. Clip them off onto a D-ring if you got carabiners, run your hands through the fin straps, or probably the easiest method, of course, is just simply hand your fins up to the boat crew. Next step is, as you're climbing that ladder, make sure you hit each and every step all the way up. Don't skip a step. If you are in heavy seas, as the wave brings you up, go ahead and walk up with the wave, then relax as that boat goes back down. As the next wave brings you up, keep on climbing up the ladder. You always want to make sure you have at least three points of contacts, both hands and one feet, or one foot, or both feet and one hands. I personally prefer the four points of contact method where both hands and both feet are constantly on that ladder itself. The last step that I will tell you is always make sure you leave your regulator in your mouth. Do not take it out for any reason until you're completely on board and you're up and away from the exit point of that boat. And that's what you're going to see in this video. You're going to see several divers get out of the water, make great exits. However, all of them but one took their regulator out until they got up top. The last diver that you're going to see made a perfect exit from deep water. He left his regulator in his mouth. Remember guys, if you're climbing that ladder, you happen to slip and fall for whatever reason. A wave knocks you down, your, your booties get slick on the, a wooden ladder or a metal ladder and you fall in, that regulator is still going to allow you to breathe and you're not going to have to sit here and search for it as soon as you hit the water. So guys, that's the tip that I'll give you here. Make sure you leave your regulator in your mouth. So take a quick look at these clips and I'll give you some final thoughts. So as you can tell guys, all the divers got on board very safely, they're good and secure. However, that last diver was the only one to leave his regulator in his mouth and that's exactly the way you should do it during your exits. Do not remove that regulator for any reason. You can take an extra few seconds to get up on the ladder and get away from that exit point of the boat and then you can pull it out and talk to the boat crew and the dive master or whoever's on there. But make sure you leave that regulator just in case you do happen to slip and fall back in, you're still able to breathe. It will keep water out of your mouth. So guys, I hope this video, I hope you, it helped you out. I hope you learned something from it. As always, make sure you follow us on Twitter, you like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always guys, we appreciate your business.